I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Justin, St. Justin the Martyr. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing in the Christian church, passing on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. And if you are watching this on our brand spanking new website or our new app, which is available on iTunes, Google, and Amazon, go ahead and click on the subscribe button under the video on the video shorts page. That will get natural. It's not there yet. I'll figure out a way to make it smooth as molasses. Justin. Justin was born in Judea around 100. Although he was born in the Holy Land, he was a pagan. He spent the beginning of his life trying to find comfort in Greek philosophy and found that it was an utter failure. As much as he tried to find comfort there, it was just empty. An old man told him the gospel, and that gospel awoke faith in him. The Spirit worked faith in him. Um, and he was, he found that in the gospel, in the prophets, in the, in the word, he found comfort that Greek philosophy wasn't able to give him. And he immediately went to defending the faith to the world around him. He wrote um, apologies or defenses of the faith. And he wrote to the Roman Empire, wrote Roman Emperor, and he wrote, um, um, he defended the faith that Christians weren't, weren't immoral, they weren't cannibals, they weren't this strange uh, a sect of Judaism that ate and drank the body and blood of their Lord. No, he took on the world around him and confessed the faith. He is responsible for most of the, the um, uh, early liturgy, that stuff that we have. The earliest liturgy stuff comes from him as he was defending the faith by pointing out what the Christians did when they worshiped. He was also taken back by the Christians' willingness to be so faithful that they would even die for their faith. And that becomes an issue later on. But my favorite thing about Justin was his defense of the of the of the Eucharist. That's my personal favorite thing. Um, what he did was his writing and his view of this was very, very helpful in giving us an idea of what the world around the church thought of the Lord's Supper. This is my body, said Jesus. This is my blood. And what 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 Justin said was, and this food is called amongst us Eucharistia, the Eucharist. For not as common bread and common drink do we receive these, but in like matter as Jesus Christ our Savior, having been made flesh by the word of God, had both flesh and blood for our salvation, so likewise have we been taught that the food which is blessed by prayer and his word and from which our blood and flesh by transmutation are nourished is the flesh and blood of that Jesus who was made flesh, made in flesh. So what he says is, this is so very important. The Romans thought that the, the Christians got together and ate and drank the, the body and blood of their dead Lord, who they believe raised from the dead. And his response is, Yes, they do, but it's because of his word that it is bread and wine, but it is his body and blood because he says so. And this gives you a picture of what the church thought, a snapshot for by what the church thought of the Eucharist, of the body and blood of Jesus in the second century. They thought that Jesus was giving them his body to eat and his blood to drink for the remission of their sins. Now, can also talk about Justin without talking about his martyrdom. He was killed in about 165 AD. 
during the per persecution of Prefect Rusticus. And the Roman count is what we have of this death. Um, that Justin and his students were commanded, and I'm going to quote, I'm going to read Pastor Whedon's book, um, Celebrating the Saints, and this is page 95 and 96. The Roman account of, of the, their martyrdom survives, commanded to sacrifice to the gods or to the face terrible or to face terrible torture without mercy. Justin replied, this is our desire to be tortured for our Lord Jesus Christ and so to be saved, for that will give us salvation and firm confidence at the more terrible universal tribunal of our Lord and Savior. All others said the same, and they were then first scourged and finally beheaded, entering into the noble army of martyrs who sing praises to the Lord with to the Lamb without end. And what I want you to think about with this is he quoted the Lord's words: don't fear the person who can throw your who can kill the body. Fear the person who can throw both body and soul into hell. Fear Jesus. And so that's what that's the way he viewed salvation. We should view the same. You can't do it. What a witness for us. That's what martyr means. What a witness. I'm not afraid of what you're going to do to me because I fear rather the one who is going to, who, who, who sits at the right hand of God, who is going to save me, who is going to save me. That's who I'm afraid of. I fear Jesus or better. I believe in Jesus. So I got nothing to fear with death. Thank God for Justin, martyr, martyred in 165, but gives us from his remaining writings, two or three books, a picture of the faith, a defense of the faith in the second century. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.